Rob, if you start by asking you about the Carabao Cup round two draw, it says against Sheffield Wednesday away from home, just get your reaction to that. Yeah, good draw for us. Um, really big club, um, some good people there. One of my old clubs, actually, I was very young when I went on loan to, to Sheffield. So, um, yeah, probably one of the, the, the big sort of teams, even though they're in League One, they're a huge football club with a, um, a big backing. Darren is uh, a pal of mine and we know the staff pretty well so yeah looking forward to it but we've got some important league games before then anyway. Yeah one of those obviously Grimsby coming up uh, this weekend another club that you'll know well of course. There's a few in there yeah. <laughs> what are you, your thoughts on them? So yeah really good season. club I really enjoyed my time there um, went as a player uh, under Alan Buckley suffered terrible injuries actually and actually quit about 29-30 due to them but went into the, the coaching side um, there's still lots of the staff there that were there when I was uh, both a player and on the on the on the sort of academy and first team coaching, and they're great people. Um, it's a good club. They'll be really well backed. I think they're, they're going to come in, in in numbers. I imagine the away stand will be full. We had a few occasions last year when that was the case. Um, so yeah, it'd be a really difficult game for us. Paul's a guy that I know very well. He was a manager there when I was working uh, as academy manager a good guy, he'll have his team really well organised, they've got some good players so we're expecting a, a very difficult game. We obviously ended Tuesday night on a high with the, the, the result against Burton, has that sort of carried on this today in training with the feeling amongst the, the players? Yeah, I mean there's nothing that builds confidence more than, than winning football games and um, it wasn't so much the win that was, was impressive, it was the performance. Um, so with that we, we, we know that we're capable. Um, even though we had the two poor results the week before, it's it's so early in the season that it doesn't really have a bearing on where we'll end up. But it's nice to get that first win, albeit in the cup, and now we look for it in the in the league. But make no mistake, we'll have to we'll have to get to the same kind of levels that we did Tuesday to get it. What what's the key thing that you want to take from Tuesday night's performance and the manner of it into into this weekend? Um, yeah, well, I've got to be honest, it was. Um, in my time here, I think I haven't experienced the atmosphere that we had. I'd have to say, certainly, certainly our at our home ground, it was a fantastic atmosphere. The supporters um, got behind the players. The players responded, gave them something to shout about, and I actually felt really good coming off the, the pitch at the end. It was a, a really nice sort of vibe around the place. Um, with that, you know, it's. We, we want that again. We want to try and create that hostile atmosphere here, and there'll be times in games where we're not playing well, and that's when we need the fans even more. And um, that's the difficult bit, I guess. That's where the balance is. But you know, if we can start on the front foot and again create the, the type of um, songs and the, and the backing, the players, the players love it. You got, you got to imagine what it must be like for Ben Nelson, Femi, the, the young players, Ethan. Um, their first experience of sort of playing in front of a, a decent crowd and they're getting supported, it must be a fantastic feeling and make them hopefully play even better. Now, I accept that with that comes the pressure of playing well, um, but we don't want what we had at the end of the Gillingham game, you know, that's not what the, the idea is, so if we do our bit on the pitch, I've got no doubt that the fans will do their bit off it. How is the, the squad looking ahead of the weekend? It's pretty similar. Um, thankfully, Kieran was, was nothing more than... I think he actually, I, I know it sounds ridiculous to get cramped, I think he actually just did roll his ankle a little bit and he um, was in a bit of pain, but thankfully he's trained today, no, no issues, so we, it was precautionary that I took him off, I suppose. Um, the five substitutes helps those decisions. Um, so that was good, so Kieran's back in, uh, Liam Kelly's edging ever closer, so um, yeah, we, we we feel that we'll probably have the same, probably the same group of players to pick from.